Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another one of our videos. Today is Wednesday. Uh, today is the midpoint of our week, which means um, we're slowly getting towards the end of it. Um, today's video will probably be a little bit shorter as the worksheets that I have for you guys today are more independent ones. Um, I know that you guys can kind of do these ones on your own, so I will give an explanation, um, but then I want you to work on the sheets at home on your own, okay? We'll go over it together, but I do want to um, see you work on them on your own, so you can send me some pictures if you would like to show me that you've completed it and that you've done a great job. Um, but as we get to the work, you'll see what I mean, okay? So the worksheets can be found um, in the comments on this video on Edmodo. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. Um, but like I did say, this video will be a little bit shorter today, um, just because I would love to see some of your independence today, okay? So let's start with our date. Today is Wednesday, so we're, we're right here in the middle of our week, okay? Wednesday. We are in May, our brand new month, May. And we need to figure out what number. So what number comes after four? Does anyone know? What comes after four? Hmm. Five, you got it. Good, today is the fifth. Can you say that? The fifth. Very good, the fifth. So today is Wednesday, May. 2021. Very good. Thank you for helping me figure out the date today. All right, so we have two math worksheets, both of which you're going to be doing mostly at home, okay? I'm going to go over it with you a little bit, but you're going to be doing it mainly at home, okay? So for this um, activity, well, for one of these activities, you're going to need your dice that I sent home, okay? So get out your two dice. All right, we're going to be doing some math with our dice today. So let's go ahead and get started then. So I will do a couple for example, but you don't need to write them down. Um, you can if you want to, but it's up to you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll one of the dice. Roll, drop it down, and see what number it lands on. So I got the number four, which means in this space right here, I would put four little dots, okay? Four, I'll put it right here so you can see it a little bit. Um, all right, four, and then we're gonna take this dice and roll it and see what number comes up. So I got a five. Okay, so then in this square, I would put five dots, just like my dice, okay? And then you have to figure out what they equal. So you're going to count the dots that you have rolled. So one, two, three, four, plus five. So we need to count them all together, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so you will draw the dots and then you will put equals nine. If you would like to, instead of drawing dots, you can always use numbers. So I rolled a four and I rolled a five. So four plus five equals nine, okay? Let's do another example. So roll your first dice. Oh, I got six. So I will put a six. And my second dice, I'll roll it. Oh look. I got a four again. All right, so we're gonna do six and four. Let me put a four in my second box. And now let's add them together and see what they equal, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four plus six equals 10. Amazing. Okay, we'll do two more examples and then I want you to do them on your own, okay? You can also roll them at the same time if you want. All right, I got three and I got one. Let me hold them so you can see them. And then let me put my numbers in. So I got three plus one equals, let's see. One, two, three, four. Three plus one equals four. You don't need to copy these down, okay? You can fill your own sheet with your own rules, okay? We'll do one more together and then I'll show you what the second math sheet looks like, okay? So go ahead and roll those dice. Oh, I got three and a two this time. So let's go ahead and put three over here and two beside it. And let's add them together to see what we have, ready? One, two, three, four, five, good. So three plus two equals five. So that's how you do this worksheet, okay? You're gonna need both dice. 
all right? So you can roll the dice and see what comes up and you can write the numbers in or you can draw the dots, like the faces of the dice, okay? It's up to you. And then do the, um, figure out the answers and write them in, okay? And for this second worksheet, this one's gonna be a little bit of fun. Um, it's a color by answer. So you need to figure out the answer to these questions and then color them in. So for example, I see two plus one. So I have my blocks here, so I'm gonna do two, okay, plus one equals one, two, three. All right, so the answer to this space is three. Let's see, oh, pink is three. So I would color in this petal pink, okay? Let's do this one here. I see this one in the middle, four plus four. So I have four and I have four. Let's count them to see what the answer is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four plus four is eight. So right in here. And let's see, where's the number eight? There's eight and it says eight is blue. So we will be coloring in that space blue, okay? So you have to go through and answer all the questions. You can use a, a number line, you can use your counters, um, you can use whatever you need to use to answer these questions. And then once you have them all answered, I want you to go and figure out what color each space needs to be. And then you can send me a picture of what your final product is. I wonder what this picture, picture will look like when it's all colored in. I bet it's going to be beautiful. It's okay to ask your family for help or a sibling or an adult that you're with. Um, it's always okay to ask for help and I want you to do your best, okay? It might seem a little bit hard, but as long as you try your best, that's what makes me happy, okay? And then for language, we are going to be doing um, a couple more sounds, okay? So we have H and H says ha. And we have T, T says T. Ha and T. So what you're going to do is trace the uppercase and lowercase H's and you are going to trace the uppercase and lowercase T's and then you are going to sort the pictures into the proper spaces. You can color the pictures first and then cut and paste them so that way it's easier to color, okay? So we have a huh, huh, house. Which one do you think house belongs to? H or T? Huh, house. H, you got it. So you're gonna put the, the house under H because huh, house starts with huh, H. Very good. And this one's the number 10. T 10. Does 10 start with H or T? -t? Let's listen again. 10. It starts with a T. Very good. So again, this is something you can do on your own at home. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because I want you to do this independently, okay? So trace those letters, color those pictures, and then cut and paste them into the proper spaces. The other pictures here are, this is a hen, this is a hat, this is a heart, this is a top, this is tape, and this is a tooth, okay? So you figure out where those belong and glue them in. And then on our second page, we have the letter J, 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 and we have the letter D, 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 okay? So you need to trace those letters, the uppercase and lowercase, and then sort the pictures where they belong, okay? We have this picture, which is J, J, Jam. Where does Jam belong? Does it belong with J, J or D, D? J, Jam. Hmm. J, you got it. And then down here at the bottom, I'll make it bigger so you can see it. This is a picture of a dad. He's holding a baby. So D, dad, does it belong under the J, J or the D, D? Dad. Under the D, you got it. So now there's a few more left for you guys to do, okay? And um, when I uh, sent out this worksheet, I didn't realize, but this picture, the one picture, didn't turn out, it just looks like this. So what that picture is supposed to be is a picture of a dog digging, okay? So I want you to pretend that that piece right there is showing you dig. You can write on there or a parent can, but that one is supposed to be dig. 
and d, d, dig starts with D. So it will go down here even though you can't see the picture, okay? You can glue it on anyways, or you can draw your own picture that starts with D to go on there, okay? I know it kind of came out funny, but I know that you guys will be able to figure it out. So that one there, that funny one that it doesn't really have a picture is dig. So we have jellyfish, we have dip, we have jar, dig, jump, and dog, okay? And that's all we have for Wednesday today. Like I said, this is a much shorter video, um, but it's because I want to see what you guys can do on your own today. These are very independent worksheets, I hope, fingers crossed. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, you can send me some pictures of your work so that way I can see what you're up to. Um, let me know if there's anything that um, didn't work or is working well. I would love to hear from you. And I will see you tomorrow for another video. Tomorrow should be back to kind of normal. Um, I will go through all the worksheets with you again. Today was just a test to see how you guys could do. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow for another video. Bye everybody.